So we just finished uh, having an amazing tent meeting with the Yazidi family here and uh, a couple members of the team had some words of knowledge for for him and his family and we prayed for him and he immediately asked us to go pray for for uh, for his grandmother who had problems in her in her body as well and so the faith was already growing in him and then we asked him if he had a dream of the man in white because we're finding in many of these camps all over the Middle East people are having dreams of Jesus the man in white and so we just asked him and he said yes I have yes I have and, and we asked him um, he asked us, how do I know, how do you know that this man was the man in white, that this is Jesus? And so we got to explain the gospel, and many, many of the Yazidi religion is a religion that believes in many gods, and so we got to explain that Jesus is the only way to the Father, and we got to pray for him to feel the peace of Jesus, and that Jesus was already after him, and he's the pursuer of his heart. And so he, he left encouraged, and we got to share the full gospel with him, and we're believing for salvation for his entire family. So most of these beautiful Yazidi children lost either one or both family members to ISIS. So they're orphans and we showed up today, our team did, obviously bringing the love of Jesus, bringing them some soccer balls, spreading some joy and really believing that our investment every week is going to see waves of God's love crash over their hearts, change them. All we can do is love on them and believe that the power of Jesus is enough. Amen. Amen? Yeah? Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 yeah.